guy need to eat? Like, is he? So he might first die. of all, your presumption that he's playing Smash is totally incorrect. He could be playing Tatsunoko <laughs> versus Capcom <laughs> on the he's Nintendo Wii. <laughs> <laughs> like he's playing Skullgirls. Uh, skull 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 anyway, <laughs> Petro versus Bashy. Bashy opting to go pit, probably just like a little matchup thing here. I feel like it's one of the matchups you definitely need arrows in. Uh, yeah, especially like when we fit does that thing that she does off stage. You know, the one, uh, you know, being able to angle your arrows might be really, really helpful. Um, just sort of like stuffing out her projectiles, or stuffing her out, especially if she's going through like a lot of deep breathings. That being said, right now, Visual he is playing off of the corner super, super well, waiting for that one opportunity for Bashi to overextend, um, and then just swoops and takes center stage. I'm always impressed by good pit play because there are really so little people that rep this character in the meta. Like, there's only one like crazy top regular pit player and a handful of other dark pit players. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm really and and also you have to deal with the additional thing of Wi-Fi because pit really doesn't have anything that makes him like crazy exceptional. He doesn't really have crazy crazy cheese. For really yeah. the stocks really he kind of has to play out pretty much all of his stock. Uh, oh wow, Mister Will running right into that side V, and honestly. Physical right now, I feel like he is struggling a little bit to deal um, with ba uh, some of Bashi's reflectors. Um, I feel like, like, you know, every time that Bashi does go for the reflector, he does connect it, and then, and then, you know, Physical takes a huge amount of damage. Yeah, both. It's it's gonna be interesting to see how both of these players deal with projectiles. Uh, I like that Bashi's not afraid to just kind of stay on the ledge and play a little bit more back. I feel like if you give Wee Fit exactly what she wants, especially when she has that deep breathing up, uh, it's gonna be pretty scary. Ooh, tried to get up that down smash rip there to catch the uh, the spike from ledge, or rather the uh, the soccer ball from ledge. Ooh. What an interaction! I actually think the soccer ball might have saved this little because. Smack the back right at him. Mm. That being said, Vesigal is able to take the first stock. You know, goes for the old reliable. You know, maybe gets a little bit greedy with his punish because you know you can get so much damage off of like a grounded header like that. Yeah. Um, but but you know something as simple as a get up attack would have definitely. Sucked. Whoa! This combo right now from Bashido. You know, Jesus Christ. That was ridiculous. Took him all the way to 50. I, I like how Bashi's been adapting pretty quickly as well. He caught on that Visceral did that uh, header from ledge twice. He let that down smash rip to take him off. Mm -hmm. uh, I can also tell that Bashi's probably pretty young, uh, given that he has his Discord with his uh, playing name. <laughs> the only people I see with that are like younger people. That's an right interesting now. observation. That's actually a bad <laughs> thing. I, 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 huh. I think you might be right, actually. <laughs> It could be completely wrong, but uh, yeah, Bashi is handling Visceral offstage really, really well right now. Visceral, he's not doing much to challenge these down smashes. Like, he's respecting him for the most part, and, and the times that he doesn't, he gets a little bit greedy with his punish. Something as simple as, like, a drop down up or, or, or you know, just a get up attack. Just gain a little bit of damage and get back onto stage might just be doing him, you know, so many more favors. Jeff, what were you trying to say before? <laughs> Jeff was about to say something, and then we cut him off. <laughs> Mm. You guys are casting, don't mind me. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you said something. <gasps> this little, oh, he's, you know, at the last second, he just, you know, faded back a little bit. Um, I think that could have definitely been the edge guard. Good stall with the jump and the header. Really, really smart there. Again, like, this is just getting off of the ledge every single time with these, like, these drop down jump headers. Um, and I don't know, but could kind of kill him for it. <laughs> he Ashley? could eat better. Bashti's also been respecting a lot of Visceral's options a lot. He knows as soon as uh, Visceral is under him, he immediately dips out of the situation. I, li I like how he's got a good sense of disadvantage here where he's not yeah. staying in the wrong place for too, too long. Visceral doing the Visceral Classic, which is uh, do deep breathing, immediately get off the ledge and f tilt. He has hit me with that so many goddamn times. I'm sure he's so many other players as well. And he tries to finish it all with the down air, though, unfortunately, it is only going to pop oh. up. He tries to extend the down air into potentially another back air, unfortunately, does not uh, find it. Right now, you know, Pitt's down through the stuff, really, really potent. Oh and my that god. Is <gasps> Wait! Did I hit the soccer ball on the way down? That raw down air off of the throw was raw. That was ridiculous. That's set up for the whole play right there, and Bashi was just able to find his way. I don't know where where Bashi's from. If he's from Tri-State, I have to assume. Yeah. No. Um, he, I believe. Yeah, no, no. No, he's from New York City. There are so many talented players in New York City who don't go to tournaments, and obviously you can't go to anything right now but Wi-Fi stuff. But if you can ever make it out of a tournament, Bashi, Jesus Christ, that pit is oh, nice. He does. He does. He, he, he does like every now and then. I see. Oh, okay. Okay. 
Yeah, so game two, we're going to see what Visceral kind of seemed to get stuck in his ways a little bit for some of those. He kind of kept relying on the same habits and maneuvers. Uh, and Bashy definitely picked up on it quickly. I feel like against a player like Bashy, you really need to keep your, your game plan fresh and be willing to adapt and be, be flexible. Because mm -hmm. Bashy caught on to a lot of the, the little tricks that Visceral was trying, like the, the header from ledge. Um, and was just respecting him a whole bunch. Mm -hmm. And a lot of really good damage right now. But speaking of good damage, look at that. Already 62% just from a couple of projectiles. That being said, uh, not able to get the down air into the neutral air. Um, you know, that, that, it is, has, that does have like a bit of like a technical barrier to it. It is It can be difficult to execute at times. I also like that uh, Visceral's still been attempting to shark the ledge a little bit for... Uh, yeah, see, I, I love that attempt right there on the down air. Uh, the, what, we Fitz is pretty much like one of the most effective characters off stage, I'd say. If I've seen John Numbers like reverse edge guard like a bajillion times, you know, it's definitely, definitely a surefire thing that we fit can. Uh, it's very scary off stage. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, that's such a good side beat from the ledge. Just catching Visceral standing there, he had to shield it and respect it. Really, basically unpunishable from that position. Um, have with that being said, I know this is definitely Bashy's ledge trap. However, once again, the header from the ledge is going to allow Visceral to get right back on. And Visceral just playing a lot more slowly now. You see how he slowed his game, his game plan down uh, quite a bit. Also, uh, Helper, if you undeq me for winners. That would be great. <laughs> that would be cool. Ah, oh, that's so unfortunate that the reflection wow. only stands at that angle. Because <laughs> like, my fault you didn't check do... in. I didn't check in. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Busy commentator. <laughs> Alright, though, Bashy trying to get that. I love that air dodge right there from Visceral, just avoiding that. Interesting, okay, interesting to see how, how Visceral keeps uh, Bashy on stage just to get these up throw up airs. Very surprised that's such a reliable uh, combo, this tie at percent. Yeah, no, it like, really just sets up with quite a nasty juggle situation. Yeah. I don't think, like, Pit. He doesn't have like particularly the best like he doesn't have the quickest buttons in the air. It, nothing that starts below him, honestly. Um and, and we fit to really, really put a juggling. That being said, physical spacing was fantastic. You know, positioning himself just over Bashy's head. Wow. <laughs> I love the little cheeky soccer balls coming from this over trying to catch off his angle. That was what did you just reflect like a sun salutation? Yep. That's near into ball. the field, tries to get a reset with the neutral layer, but of course, not going to have enough plus flames to be able to connect it. He was just able to air dodge out, and that down throw, once again, I thought it was going to set up into another tech chase on the platform, but it's not so unfortunate if he bashy, you know, like, that could have been potentially big damage two times, and yet he wasn't able to find it, however, this time, um, is finally able to get the conversion. Yeah, and, and, and um... Visceral definitely playing a lot more grounded this game. You notice he's been trying to stay under Bashy instead of kind of trying to contest him in the air a little bit. Like he, he's been really slowing down the pace of the game and kind of waiting out. The, the best thing to do against Pitta is wait till he exhausts most of his resources or overcommits and then you gotta pounce on him. Yeah, definitely. Right now Visceral, he is just struggling to land. He does have another jump just in case though. Uh, again, going from these grounded headers, kind of reminds me of the way King DDD would get off of uh, get off of the ledge a little bit, like the way they would, you know, go up with the Gordo. Um, and you know, considering that you can't smack that header back, it's probably the best analogy for this scenario. You really just have to like try to get on top of Weefit and try to spike her for it, or just hit her with like a nice strong smash attack. Because if you keep letting her get away with it, it oh my so god, much. the duck to I love that. A lot of Weefit players will use uh, the crouch to shrink their hurt box a, a really good amount, and it, it definitely works. Bashy still playing back, but Visceral just not overextending at all. He's been able to get these kills, and I feel like given how defensive uh, Bashy's been playing, Visceral's been wow. able to get deep breathing off. This damage is insane. Oh no! He overcommits, yeah. No. He hasn't gotten any of these edge guards, but I feel like every time he goes off stage, right? Yes, he does so with the potential to kill, but he gives up the opportunity for oh, the oh, last combo! Crackdown! This kid's insane, yo. Oh my. Was that? Was that a lunch camp? You know Yeah! This guy's crazy. Yeah, no, that was that was fantastic. Yo, the meta Giant damage on the platform, getting a little extension there. That was hype. Pluggers even. And, if, and if now the like, now the game plan Bashy kind of has to integrate right here is either not really try to trade too much with Vistral, but just keep extending his lead. Uh, we fit can make the damage up in almost mere seconds, given how good deep breathing is. He's just got to keep playing defensive. 
Yeah, oh, uh, that side is gonna be kind of safe on shield. I feel like you can mix up your drift um, after you hit somebody's shield with it, um, but I'm not entirely sure though. Right now, Bashu getting a couple of juggles, a little bit of extra damage, mm, but not able to get. Wow. Ooh. And you'll see Visceral has had stage control for most of this game. Bashi just all of a sudden got it. Now it hit. Oh my god, that's it. The re grab on the ledge. No, the down smash doesn't take him out. Yeah, no, not quite Making yet. Back on stage somehow. Bashi overcommitting with that up smash right there. Letting Visceral get center stage. This is so scary. Man, up out at spot touch. That down smash is so quick. Oh. It is in the. No! Oh. Yeah. No! Really, really good stuff by this <laughs> yeah, he, he did the Jonathan numbers. What he a did, bad character. Did, yep. <laughs> he, did, he did the, uh, he did the roll for lunch into Aftel. That's wild. We <laughs> The damn question. Did neither of these characters have kill throws? Because I'm pretty sure they both have kill throws. And yeah. neither of them are using any of them. And it's really the most frustrating thing to watch. These guys are a little too scared to probably be going for grabs right now, just given how, I guess, neutral's been playing out. But I, I definitely agree, Helper, that they could be trying to use that a little bit more. That was, like, crazy scary. Yeah, Pit, Pit does struggle to finish his food a little bit at the time. Well, WeFit has no shortage of kill options, especially with deep breathing. Present. They made they made her lethal with deep breathing, so it, it can definitely help with clutching a lot of games out. Bashi deciding he's uh going to, to to dye his hair black, maybe start listening to, to Pierce the Veil, a bunch of other emo bands, and then shift into Dark Pit for this game three. Now I'm wondering what I guess Dark Pit can can kill a little bit earlier with side B as well as arrows sniping linear recoveries back on the stage. The combo game is more or less the same though. Um, but maybe Bashi just decided that he wanted a little bit more kill power on his side. He's got a pretty good leadoff so far. Visceral haven't, hasn't been able to get anything really crazy started with deep breathing yet. Oh, and the, I didn't realize like the arrows are so much more powerful too here in neutral as well. Bashi's not afraid to just kind of to, to hang back and shoot those. Which is good because like the, the header requires like a good amount of startup as well for WeFit to get that soccer ball out so she can uh, serve it forward. But uh, Pit just has to wind up and, and let it go. Ooh, yeah, that could have been buried. A little bit of an overcommitment by Bashi right there. And now he's out of jumps, has to make it back. Great recovery right there. This real though, you know, while... You know, while looking a little bit on the, the back foot, he's been holding his own like really, really well and, st and like evening up those gaps as quickly as he can. That, yeah. That's super duper important, you know? Oh no! <gasps> okay. That was almost terrifyingly scary. I like the way that Bashi right now, he's controlling Sunning the stage like really patiently, just taking a step back, shooting out the aerials, making sure that Visigal can't really go through that many headers um, or anything, you know? Just like playing it really, really patiently, and honestly, at that point, <gasps> he had the right idea. If only he had gone for the full hop instead of the short hop, it might have been a misinput for long. I'm pretty sure Visceral's at kill percent for like a dash attack, though, or an F throw more towards the ledge. <laughs> but Bashi's also at F throw kill percent, too. Oh, such a nicely placed header. That was fantastic. So, are her projectiles also buffed by deep breathing? Can a Wii Fit expert please uh, inform me? Yes, they are. They are, okay. So. <laughs> I love how quick he wants to answer that. I mean, we're, we're in the house of, of We Fit right now. So. <laughs> don't, don't you dare call us that again. <laughs> <laughs> it is the house of John Lewis. <laughs> he, he's the mascot. He's the mascot of the house. What can I say? But now this lead is slipping away from Bashy so hard. Visceral is just st staying on this first stock. And that's kind of the, one of the things that, that Pit and Dark Pit try, uh, struggles with the most is just finishing their food. Yeah. Um, like, honestly, they just need a really strong lead just to be able to get a Ooh. stock. They need a good back here. They need a good down smash. They need a good F to go. I feel like the kill options are just not as, I don't know, they just like, they might be really easily telegraphed. You can just sort of camp them out and wait. This is such a good lead from Visigal right now, and it's only climbing 55%, and he's going all the way off. Gonna wow. Take really nice. Yeah, Bashi's got to play out of his mind if he wants to make this back. Visceral just ran away with this uh, stock so far, and it's still not dead yet. You know who's still alive? That's right, Ness's wood. <laughs> Anyhow, um... 
That was such a good way. Uh, and Vicious is kind of baiting him in now, basically putting up that soccer ball right in front of him. He's at 195 and still hasn't died yet. At this point, he can afford to play rock, paper, scissors uh, as many times as he wants because eventually he's going to win it, and then yeah. Bash is just going to die for you. Like, this looks. This looks pretty much over. Like a really good start for Bashy, but Visceral is just able to get those kills. And it's really, really important. Yeah. So look at that. He's still not he's still oh kill. my god! Bruh. There we go. Finally. Finally. Yeah. But is it too little, too late for Bash? 138 points to F tilt. Woohoo! Yeah. That's, the, that's the Visceral special right there, running there with that F tilt. Uh, I never imagined. Right there. I never imagined I would watch Pit Side be not kill. That's mm. Yeah, Pitt, uh, Pitt definitely needs a little bit of help. <laughs> I mean, granted, I feel like <sighs> Bashi kept fighting from the, the the opposite direction that he was killing, right? Like, Pitt really relies on his clone who pressure you to get kills, his down smash, his F throw, his back hit especially. And if you're, like, on the opposite side of the stage with your back to the wall and not your opponents, you're going to be struggling to get those kills because you don't have a good back throw. Um, you don't have any good cross-up options. It's just difficult for Pit, you know? I didn't see him also catch a single landing with uh, Pit's up smash as well. I feel yeah. like that's kind of crucial to, with Pit to get kills as catch landings. Um, okay, look, I'm not going to say that Pit doesn't have difficulty killing because he definitely does. <laughs> But he has forward throw, and he had Visceral <laughs> on the ledge so many times. He forward threw him a bunch of times, him. it didn't work. It didn't he, work. From mid-stage, <laughs> once, 